Hey, it's Joe with the How To Guys, and I'm going to show you how to replace the hand grips on this 1980 GL1100 Goldwing. So uh, let's get started. First, let's look at the original hand grips that were on here from 1980. The foam's all torn up, and they're really in bad shape. So I ordered some Kiryakin hand grips. I think I might have gotten these from Amazon, but you can get them at most online retailers and motorcycle stores. Make sure you get the right fit for your motorcycle. And to go along with these, I ordered the throttle boss accessory for the throttle side, which allows you to actuate the throttle without gripping the hand grip, which is nice for long rides on the gold wing. So to do this job, you're going to need a screwdriver and a razor. And a lot of people say to use hairspray, but we'll talk about that later. First, I'm going to start with a little WD-40 and stick that um, in the crease between in the crack between the bar controls and the hand grip and then I'm going to slide the screwdriver in there you'll remember these are the original foam ones so it's pretty easy to just get a screwdriver in there and kind of work it around and work around that WD-40 and that should loosen up the old glue and you can twist the hand grips off. You'll see uh, later on the right side I'll show you but if you're having a hard time you also can just use the razor to cut your hand grips off and that can be a good way to get them off without really scuffing up the handlebars with the screwdriver. So then I'm going to take the new hand grips and there's two different uh, interior diameters you can see and for the left side use the smaller diameter because that one doesn't have to go over the throttle sleeve the plastic throttle control so i had heard that hairspray works really well and i thought i'd just give that a shot and so i tried putting hairspray and it just was not sticky enough and also i found that these hand grips weren't super snug on my handlebars anyway so i used a little electrical tape to make kind of like a snake around the handlebars and this is really helpful because it'll increase the diameter of the handlebars a little bit and it also gives another surface for the glue you choose to stick to i just did you can see kind of one layer of tape if you're doing more than that i'd say you might have the wrong hand grips for your handlebars uh you want it to be snug as you can see here but you still want to be able to get the hand grips on and then i also used this opportunity uh, i had never had hand grips like this to check the positioning that i wanted for the rubber and then moving into glue the hand grips came with this black widow adhesive glue but I had read that that cures extremely quickly and since like I said I wasn't sure about the positioning that I wanted the handle grips I decided to use this Gorilla Glue rubber cement that I'd used before for reattaching camera leather casing it's really great because after it cures it still stays kind of tacky and so even though it's going to hold the handle grips in place while I'm riding it gave me the ability to really yam on them and twist them into new positions and check what position I liked the best for these handle grips. So then while that left side was curing I moved over to the right side which has that throttle sleeve the plastic throttle sleeve so it's a little different than the left and so I opted to just cut the foam hand grip off because I could be a lot more careful with that plastic sleeve. Now some kits are going to give you the sleeve as a replacement so you don't have to be as careful but I just didn't want to shove the screwdriver up in there. Um, I was a little worried about breaking it so I just cut away the foam rubber off of the throttle sleeve and then cleaned it with a paper towel and some WD-40 and then knowing that the left side I had had to put extra electrical tape on I wasn't too worried about cleaning it super well. Having it a little bit sticky and tacky was going to be fine. So then I covered it with the electrical tape and you only want to cover the plastic sleeve itself. You can see how there was that metal tip at the end showing of the handlebar. You don't want to put tape on that and you don't want to get rubber cement on it either. So once I had the rubber cement on the throttle sleeve, I twisted on the new hand grip onto the throttle side and then I got on the bike and I just, while that rubber cement was still tacky enough to really move it around, I positioned the hand grips how I felt I was going to like them the most. Next it was time to attach the throttle boss to the throttle hand grip and so it's just 
just a matter of unscrewing the cap on the end of the hand grip and then putting on the throttle boss and then putting the uh, hand grip cap back on but with the longer screws that the throttle boss comes with. So I just screwed that in there and then the little wrench that came with it for positioning it, I put it in my glove box so that once I was on the road, I could play around with that angle of the throttle boss and get it exactly how I was gonna want it on long drives. So let's uh, see how that all worked out and take her out for a spin and see how that throttle boss works. So I decided after riding a couple times that I'm going to leave the handle grips on with that rubber cement for probably a couple months. It works great and I just want to be able to rotate the hand grips and see how they feel best. And then I'll go back to that Black Widow glue and really cement them on when I know exactly how I want them. 